Our cold and dark universe is a terrifying place, with explosions and bursts of energy that tear apart space-time itself. When stars die, they don't fade. They go down swinging, taking everything nearby with them. Most of the cosmos sits in silence, frozen in deep time. Then, somewhere in that darkness, a fuse lights, and all hell breaks loose. For millions of years, a massive star burns like a furnace in perfect balance. Gravity pulls in, fusion pushes out, and for a while, it looks eternal. But the balance is fake. Deep in its core, fuel is running out. When the last atoms fuse, gravity wins. The core collapses in less than a heartbeat, crushing matter to densities that defy logic. Pressure rebounds, tearing through layers of metal and gas. The result isn't just an explosion, it's a rip in the fabric of reality, a supernova. One star turning into an atomic bomb the size of a solar system. Sometimes the death of a star isn't a plain old supernova, sometimes it's a hypernova, a supernova on steroids. The collapse is so violent that the center doesn't stop at a neutron star. It keeps falling until it becomes a black hole. And when that happens, the newborn singularity spits out twin jets of radiation from its poles, each one moving close to the speed of light. Those jets slice through the dying star and burst into space like spears. For a few seconds, the event shines brighter than every star in its galaxy combined. If one of those jets ever pointed at Earth, it would be the last sunrise in history. We call those events gamma ray bursts. They're second only to the Big Bang in raw energy output. The long ones last maybe 30 seconds. The short ones end before you can blink. In that time, one burst can release more energy than our sun will burn through in its entire 10 billion year life. Try to imagine every nuclear weapon on Earth detonating once per microsecond for tens of seconds straight, and you're still not close. If we could hear it, the sound would never stop. But there's no air out there. It arrives silently. A spike of pure radiation that lights up our detectors and reminds us how small we are. The short gamma ray bursts come from even darker places, two neutron stars circling each other for millions of years, losing energy through gravitational waves, drawing closer every orbit until they finally collide. When they merge, the impact bends space-time like a drumhead. It's called a kilonova, a flash so intense it forges new elements right out of the quantum chaos. Gold, platinum, uranium, the jewelry and circuitry of our world were minted in those collisions. Every ring on every finger is the cooled-down wreckage of a cosmic crash. When a massive star doesn't collapse fully into a black hole, something stranger can emerge, a magnetar, a neutron star with a magnetic field so strong it could erase every credit card on Earth from halfway across the solar system. The surface is solid iron, the core is degenerate matter, and the field lines snap and twist like cables under stress. When those lines realign, the crust cracks in what astronomers call a star quake. One magnetar, 50,000 light years away, once flared so bright it ionized Earth's upper atmosphere, a city-sized object shaking the skin of a planet half a galaxy away. It lasted less than a second, then silence again. But silence is a trick. The universe keeps screaming in frequencies we can barely catch. Somewhere out there, a pulse of radio energy flashes for a few thousandths of a second, then vanishes. We call them fast radio bursts. Some repeat, some don't. Each one carries as much energy as our sun emits in a full day, all packed into the time it takes a hummingbird to beat its wings. No one knows what causes them. Magnetars, black holes, cosmic strings, alien engineering. Every possibility has been on the table. The truth is, we still don't know, but whatever they are, they're real, and they're powerful enough to punch through billions of light years of gas and dust just to reach us. The numbers behind all this are hard to believe, 
the sun outputs 400 septillion watts. That's four followed by 26 zeros. A gamma ray burst can match that output, not for days, not for hours, but for seconds, just seconds. And those seconds are enough to reshape the universe. If light were sound, a GRB would be a scream loud enough to shatter galaxies. At its peak, a single collapsing star can outshine every other star in the Milky Way combined. Think about that. One dying object, outshining 200 billion suns. And still, that's small next to the engines that never stop. Deep in the heart of most galaxies, including ours, lies a supermassive black hole. Usually, it sleeps. But when gas drifts too close, the black hole wakes. Matter falls inward, heats to millions of degrees, and forms an accretion disk that spits out twin jets of plasma stretching for tens of thousands of light years. They carve through space, sculpting the galaxy's gas, turning star formation on and off like a cosmic switch. A single jet can carry more energy than humanity has released since the dawn of civilization. If you could stand near one, you couldn't. The radiation would strip you to atoms before your brain had time to process the light. Every living thing on Earth owes its existence to this cosmic violence. The iron in your blood came from a supernova. The gold in your ring was born in a neutron star merger. The calcium in your bones was once part of a dying star's core. Life isn't built from peace, it's built from wreckage. Without those explosions, Earth would be a cold sphere of hydrogen and helium. Every breath you take is borrowed debris from the universe's worst disasters. Astronomers have built machines to listen to these outbursts. Satellites watch for flashes of gamma rays. Ground arrays of radio dishes stretch across deserts, waiting for the next whisper of a fast radio burst. Gravitational wave detectors like LIGO and Virgo feel the tiny ripples of colliding black holes and neutron stars measuring a change in length smaller than a proton. When one of these signals arrives, observatories across the world pivot within seconds to catch the light. It's a global relay race between instruments, humans, and physics itself, converting cosmic carnage into understanding. There's comfort in that precision, but there's danger too. A nearby magnetar flare could fry satellites or knock out power grids. A gamma ray burst within a few thousand light years could strip Earth's atmosphere and erase life in a flash. The odds are small, but the time scales are infinite. The dice never stop rolling. Civilization exists because the sky is mostly quiet. That quiet isn't permanent. It's just the pause between storms. Even in the horror, there's beauty. Every time the universe tears itself apart, it builds something new. The shock waves from supernova trigger star birth. The jets from black holes seed galaxies with energy and heavy elements. Out of death comes chemistry, and from chemistry, life. The universe keeps remaking itself through destruction. We're not spectators. We're the afterglow. Imagine a photon leaving a gamma ray burst at the edge of the observable universe. It travels for billions of years through the dark, past galaxies that are already ancient, past voids the size of superclusters. Eventually, it hits the mirror of a telescope in Chile or Hawaii. That single particle of light sets off an alarm in a control room. Someone looks up from a monitor, eyes wide, and whispers, we got one. Outside, the sky looks peaceful, but for a few seconds, on the other side of the cosmos, reality itself was screaming. That's the truth about our universe. It's not serene, it's not safe. It's an arena of creation and destruction, running on physics that doesn't care about humanity. There are engines out there that make gods look underpowered. They don't choose, they don't stop, they just burn, break and begin again. Galaxies spin like glowing hurricanes, stars collapse, black holes feed, magnetars quake. Somewhere, a radio burst flickers through the dark on a small blue planet orbiting a mid-sized star in one of two trillion galaxies. 
humans look up, unaware that the next great scream of the universe might already be on its way. The cosmos doesn't whisper, it detonates, and it will again. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more incredible content from Zenith Science.